Joel Lego here, back for another video. Today, we'll be looking at part one of my Statue of Liberty project. So, a couple of weeks ago, I went to Firestar Toys and bought a few custom pieces to upgrade my Spider-Man No Way Home minifigures. For those of you that don't know, Firestar Toys is a company that prints custom Marvel pieces. And, and here is my custom Green Goblin minifigure. The legs are from Aaron from Nexonites. The torso and the head are from the official figure. The hair is Han Solo's from Star Wars. And the arms are a Firestar Toys custom print. I really wanted to give this Green Goblin minifigure a purple hood, but unfortunately I just don't have that piece, and Firestar Toys' custom mould just didn't seem like something Lego would do. And here is my custom Doc Ock. The legs and the torso are from Han Solo from Star Wars, but I gave the torso some brown hands. The head and the claws are from the original figure, and the hair is Harry Potter's. Now I am planning on switching out this hair for Firestar Toys' custom one, which is the same mould, just in like, reddish brown. And here is my MJ. The legs are plain black. The torso is a Firestar Toys custom print. The arms are also custom printed as well. The head is also a Firestar Toys custom print. And I believe the hair is from some scientist lady. And here is my custom Ned Leeds. The legs are from a CMF Frankenstein minifigure. The torso is a Firestar Toys custom print, but I'd recommend using the arms from Rex from the Lego movie uh, and the head and hair from Ned Leeds from the poly bag. And here is my custom Electro. You may notice that I only made one change, and that was switching the legs for the CMF conservationist. And here is my custom Tom Holland Spider-Man. The legs and the torso are from Lego's minifigure. The arms are from Firestar Toys. The head is from the Lego's minifigure. The hair is from Bam, but I wish the head and hair were the ones from the CMF. And finally is my custom Doctor Strange. This Doctor Strange minifigure is just from the Sanctum Workshop set, but I gave him arm printing. Now this arm printing is actually for Sinister Strange, since when I bought this package, the Doctor Strange arms were sold out. But I think it works just as well. Now... In case you were wondering why Toby and Andrew weren't in this video, it is because I haven't got the pieces I need to upgrade them yet. Anyway, bye, and don't forget to subscribe.